Welcome to the Charles River Museum of Industry and Innovation. I'm Charlie Rivers. Today, we're taking a look at our Type C Lombard water turbine governor. Now, we all know what a governor is. We got plenty around the museum fitted to our steam engines. The engine runs too hard. The governor cuts off the steam intake to the throttle valve until it slows down. But this green monster, made by the Lombard Governor Company in Ashland, is designed to work with a turbine, which uses wicket gates to direct water to the turbine rotor, so the governor's got to have a bit more oomph. The turbine drives the governor with a belt coupled to this here pulley, which spins the fly balls. This spring and lever arrangement here resists the motion of the fly balls, and the two forces balance at a set speed. If the turbine runs over that speed, the fly balls drop a rod into the control valve, which directs hydraulic oil from the tank, uh, which is missing from ours, to the cap end of the operating cylinder, which pushes the piston forward. Now on the end of the piston rod, you got this gear rack, which turns the pinion here, which turns the output shaft here, which adjusts the position of the wicket gates to let in less water until the turbine slows back down. The Lombard governor even has this special feedback mechanism to compensate for any inertia in the wicket gates or sudden changes in load. It also has this nifty hand wheel to operate the governor manually for testing. Oz is a Model C, but Lombard had almost a whole alphabet's worth of models. There's a governor that's got my vote. <laughs>